Habaragani, what's the word? What's the news? Well, the word and the news is the East Cleveland Public Library is celebrating Kwanzaa, a wonderful African-American holiday for you and your family. We've been talking about the special seven principles, and not only can you celebrate and practice these principles during Kwanzaa time, they're wonderful principles for you and your family to celebrate 365 days a year. Kwanzaa is a seven day festival that celebrates the African American culture and history. Kwanzaa takes place the day after Christmas, December 26th through January 1st. The name Kwanzaa comes from the phrase Matanda Ya Kwanzaa, which means the very first fruits. In the Swahili language, which is an African, Eastern language spoken in many countries, including Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe. Kwanzaa is mostly celebrated in the USA. It's Kwanzaa time, and Kwanzaa was founded by Dr. Malanga Karenga in 1966. He was a professor at the University of California in Berkeley. He founded Kwanzaa on the premise that he wanted African Americans to come together, join together, work together. Because you see, there was a riot that happened at the same time in Los Angeles, California. And that is one reason why we are celebrating Kwanzaa to bring us as African Americans together. There are seven symbols used in Kwanzaa. The seven items are often set on a Kwanzaa table, like here, like we have prepared for you. The Kwanzaa table has the canera with seven candles, three green, three red, and one black, but our storyteller will elaborate on that just for you. I'm gonna briefly talk about a few of the other items that are set up on this wonderful Kwanzaa table for you and your family. Let's get started. Part of our wonderful Kwanzaa setup includes the Kwanzaa mat. The Kwanzaa mat is a beautiful item that's woven, it's light or dark brown, and adds a really nice accent to the table. All of the items are placed on the makika, the mat for your display. The Kimbabi Cha Umuja is the unity cup. It represents family and community. It is filled with water, fresh juice, or wine. A little was poured out to remember our ancestors. The cup is shared between people and each person takes a sip. 
that might not be appropriate right now during this time. However, that is the tra original tradition. The mazeo are the crops, the corn, the vegetables, and the fruit. They are shared out and distributed among the family. The mashuma saba is what the whole seven candles is called. The canera is the item that holds the seven candles. The black, red, and green are the colors of the bandera, the African flag. The Mahindu, or corn, there is one ear of corn of each child in your family. If there are no children in your family, then one ear is used to represent the children in the community. It represents the future and the African Americans. Zawadi, the gifts. You give gifts at Christmas, and Kwanzaa is also a celebration. Feel free to give gifts during that time as well. Gifts are given to children during Kwanzaa, and normally the gifts are, get this, educational gifts such as a book, a DVD, or a game, or history, a black history movie. There's also a gift reminding them of their African American heritage. Stay with us. Our storyteller, Dr. Harris, wants to talk to you a little bit more about the Canera and the Seven Candles. The first candle represents Umoja, and Umoja means unity, bringing the family together. <laughs> 